So I'm a lawyer by trade and a personal injury attorney. I have my own law firm. Um, I was active in election work by virtue of being a lawyer and being asked to volunteer to uh, go poll watch in the early 2000s. Um, it seemed like a natural fit because as a kid, my mom, who was part of the League of Women Voters, would take us to the uh, polling places for reporting at the end of the night. And um, so I became active in the nonpartisan election protection work. And through that grew my involvement in election work. And then when the state of Wisconsin created the State Elections Commission, um, getting, having gotten rid of its previous administrative body, um, I was appointed by the state senator, um, then the minority leader, uh, Jen Schilling, to a five-year term on this body uh, based upon that work I had done in the larger um, organizing and supervision of poll sites through election protection. Thanks. And Christine, how did you get involved? I got involved um, mostly when I was growing up. Uh, we moved around a lot, and I'm the daughter of immigrants. My dad's originally from Germany. My mom's from Mexico. And having the opportunity to move to different places, both inside um, the United States and outside, it um, right away makes you a critical thinker about the things you see and how we live as a society. And uh, but I would say my formative years were definitely in Alabama when I lived, uh, went to high school there. And there was a very strong uh, Jim Crow culture there, even though Jim Crow was no longer there, you still saw it and felt it. And, um, and a lot of like um, intolerance, uh, I would say. And, uh, and so um, I saw injustice, but didn't know what you could do about it. And so it wasn't until I came to UW-Madison and got involved in student activism and conversations about why is society the way it is and how can we challenge inequality and do that together that I really got hooked. And once I understood that and became a part of it, I've um, committed to it. It's a wonderful thing. I want more people. We need everyone involved in it. <laughs> Terrific. And Angela, tell us your story. Yeah, so I am born and raised in Milwaukee. Um, I come out of student organizing. Um, I didn't intend to be an organizer. I um, started at UW-Milwaukee as um, pre-med. I thought I was gonna be a doctor and do Doctors Without Borders. Um, I really started to get involved with the ACLU. Uh, so I did a lot of nonpartisan voter registration work. Um, around the time 2007-2008, uh, we started to hear about photo ID and how that would impact um, college students. So I did a lot of nonpartisan um, activism specifically around, you know, voter suppression efforts. Thank you.